So um, I just wanted to mention real quickly the one more um, spread strategy that we use uh, for um, uh, call option purchases, and that's the uh, market neutral strangle. And with the market neutral strangle, if we have a profit in a call option, then at a later date we'll buy a put option to protect the uh, profits. And if you set these up right, they can, you know, when you buy that put option, it can even guarantee a profit for your call purchase, no matter what the underlying stock or ETF does. So uh, what we do is if we have a profit in a call option, then at a later date we'll purchase that put option to create that market neutral uh, spread trade. And of course the call option purchase profits at the price of the underlying stock increases and the um, value of the put option purchased will profit if the price of the underlying stock decreases. So you have a long position and a short position with these market neutral trades and your risk is limited to the cost of the spread. And when you put on these market neutral spreads, there's no limit on the profit potential of the spread if the underlying stock continues to increase in price. And at the same time, you can lock in and guarantee a profit for your trade. So let's just look at uh, an example quickly. This was for uh, NASDAQ ETF uh, QQQ. Uh, we use the sector strategy to select this uh, NASDAQ call option. Uh, we got a low risk entry point using the Keltner channels. And then we use the 1% rule for selecting the option strike price. So the trade was profitable. So we use the 30% trade management rule for creating an option spread. And in this, in this case, we did a uh, market neutral spread. So uh, we bought 14 of the QQQ January 80 calls at 861. So uh, bought 14 of the QQQ January 80s at 861. And then we had a profit in that. So we went ahead and bought 14 of the uh, QQQ uh, 93 strike puts and we paid 165 for the put. So I had a profit in the call, uh, bought a put option to uh, protect those profits and uh, let's take a look at the uh, risk profile for a market neutral trade. And again, the calculator will calculate the profit potential assuming various price changes in QQQ at option expiration from a 30% increase to a 30% decrease. And um, uh, again, uh, we bought the 80 strike call at 861, bought the 93 strike put at 165. And you can see if um, the QQQ is flat at expiration at 99.22, then we'll have an 80% return on this spread. We'll have an $896 profit and an 87% uh, return if the stock is flat uh, at option expiration. And then if the ETF is up 10%, we'll have a 184% return. So with these market neutral spreads, you can see the profit potential is not limited by buying that put. 10% um, increase is 184% return. 20% increase in the ETF is a 280% return. So your profit potential keeps increasing. And here's the really interesting part. If the ETF goes down 10%, uh, we still make a 26% return. And then if it goes down 20%, we have a 32% return. If it goes down 30%, we have a 129% return. So even if the ETF goes down in price, the more it goes down, the more we make. So that's an interesting uh, side note for these market neutral trades. So your upside uh, potential is not limited and your downside potential is not limited either. So a great way to uh, trade options if you, if you want to really reduce your risk is to create these market neutral spreads. And in this example, we set it up and we're guaranteed a minimum profit of 26% no matter what happens. So this is a way to, uh, uh, if you have a profit in an existing trade 
and you don't know what to do, then you create one of these market neutral uh, trades to guarantee your profit. So that concludes my uh, presentation.